Hi, uh, this is going to be a note about uh, use or handling a sextant, handling a sextant. And uh, we just got this request to do this, and so I'm going to do this real quickly now, and then we may come back later when we have a newer sextant in-house or something. But let me show you, first of all, this is a box, and one unique thing about sextants, no matter how much it costs, any metal sextant always has a unique configuration it must be to go in and out of the box. So, for example, if I put this here, I can't close the lid. So this one has to have the hand, the, 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 this arm has to be set somewhere around 30 or so, then the box will close and so forth. And then, so, so that's the first thing. So when you get one, you want to pick it up always either by the handle or by the, by the frame. So you, you're always picking them up by the frame like this. And when you're handling it, it's by the frame or by the handle like that, like this. You don't pick it up by this or by this. So it's always by the handle, by the frame. Then the other thing that I have learned to do automatically over the years, whenever you pick up a sextant, whenever you pick up a sextant, reach over here, your hands like that, and check that this nut is tight. Because all sextants, and I can show you one more, but we've got four or five here, old, very old sextants, but they're all the same, new or old. 2,000 or 1,000, and you, uh, this screw can be loose, and if that's loose, this thing can just slide right straight out. So you don't know who handled the sextant last or who put it in the box, so it's a good habit just to, when you pick up any sextant like that, just get in the habit, reach it over there, be sure that's snug like that. And then the same way going back in the box. I'm gonna use a different sextant to do some other demos, but, um, This is, oh, I missed, okay, back, in, okay, so that's like that. So let me grab this one here. Okay, so I'm doing that same way here. You see, they all have this same design where this thing can just slide in and out. All right, so this is a section. I'm holding it this way or this way. Now, the way you move the arm, this arm here, is you squeeze this and move it like that. And then when you let it go, when it, you, you turn it, and when you let it go, Always give it a little twist here. So you turn it and let it go. I can't get it wrong at the moment on this one, but on but on some sections you can get stuck in between the in between the in between these gears here. So you move it, you let, let it go, and then you just give it a little twist. And then this one is the micrometer like that, and then you read the degrees are read down here. Uh, this is uh, this is okay. Let me read this. This one is. 60, 65, 66, and I can see that's almost 66 and a half, and I go over here and read it, and then this is actually 40, it's 41, 42, 42, and almost 43, and then I see which one lines up here, and it's about like a 0.8, um, so that's how you read that, but let me go back here and show you this, can you take a pic, this is our textbook on celestial navigation, and there's a chapter two on sextants. And there's where most of the information is here, the parts of the sextant like that. Then you, how to do the sites, I'll just quick. And then here we have a big section on how you, how, you read the, how you read these dials, right? So this is a book to refer to for uh, the, how, the technique for taking the sites. Now we're talking just about more about handling and some other, some other issues, okay. So now these are the shades. And there's one important thing about the shades right away. They have basically two positions. That's all the way out. That's all the way out. No, wait, that's all the way out. So these are all the way out. And then these are now all the way in, right? So it's important when you're taking sights with a sextant that these, whatever you choose, has, has to be all the way in or all the way out. So these are used, for, these are just to, uh, for the bright sun, you're going to always have to use one, two, three, or all of these. But the main point is, when you use them, you put it in like that. There's no particular rule. You might use these two, or you might use all that like that. You just practice and see which one has the right glare, the right uh, dimness. What you want to do is that you want the sun to be sharp as possible, but not uh, no impression of brightness, right? Just try to get away from any concept of brightness. If that's a little bit bright, then then maybe try to get dimmer. Okay, so you choose that. But all the way in. So if I change, I don't want to leave any like this. 
because the way these mirrors work, you can actually end up look, trying to look around the edge of these and distort your sight. So all the way in, all the way out. Okay, and then these are, these are horizon shades. They're only used for t when there's glare on the water. Glare on the water. And that, I think, is the main, the main thing. And then when you, you set it down, oh, okay, you always set it down on the feet, right? You never set them down like this or like that, right? And then when you pick them up, you pick it up like this and then grab the handle like that. And then this is the, usually they have a light. This is that. And then uh, you want to be sure, okay, here's where the batteries go for the light. One important thing is whenever you store it for a long period of time, be sure to take the batteries out. Take the batteries out. And when you're at sea, they're going to get salt spray on them. So periodically you have to get some fresh water, wash off the, that. But that's the main things about the handling. Now the details of how you take the sights. Oh, let me, I'll just show this motion right here. This motion is, this is the rocking motion that's discussed reading the, when you read the book, there'll be a rocking motion discussed, right? So this is rocking. It's like a boat rolling. So this is the rocking motion. It takes very little. So when I'm doing a rocking of the sextant, that's all that's going. This, that little bit like that, okay? All right, I'll stop there. We'll, we'll do this later if we need to do more. Okay, thank you.